Happy sunshine, family. Welcome back to the Heather Antucci Giraffe Detention Hearing Transcript Series. This is part six. This hearing took place in Knoxville, Tennessee on August 29, 2017, presided over by the Honorable C. Clifford Shirley, Jr. Let me test to make sure my purple pointer indicator is working. All righty. Well, we are on page 69. Judge Shirley continues. You will sign where it says, quote, I promise to obey all conditions of release to appear as directed and surrender to serve any sentence imposed. Is that correct? That is correct, replies Heather. And finally, continues Judge Shirley, it says, quote, I'm aware of the penalties and sanctions set forth above, end quote. Is that correct? That is accurate and correct. All right. If you'll hand that up to Ms. Davidson first for review, and then go over to Ms. Tucci Giraffe to sign, we'll have some, a little more of the hearing to conclude. And Mr. Sanchez, where will she be released from? U.S. Marshal says, she will be released from Maloneyville, Your Honor. Okay, while you're looking at that, because you have been incarcerated, we need to have you processed out of that facility, and I suspect you may have some personal effects there as well. Most do. Heather says, I was on a 30-day tour. The judge says, anyway, bottom line is they are going to take you back to, when he said Maloneyville, that's the location of the facility. And then once they process you out, give you clothes, you'll be able to be released from there. So whoever is going to pick her up, we can give you directions to Maloneyville. It's far east and north, or sorry, it's out far east and north Knoxville, out by Three Ridges, next door to Three Ridges Golf Course, out there, and she won't be released anytime soon, unfortunately. They don't, and by that I mean like within the next 30 minutes to an hour. They have to take some time to do that, and we're sort of at their mercy as to when they get around to that, but it will be today, and they will release you today. Heather says, may I just make one request of this court? Sure, says Judge Shirley. If they could write, quote, forthwith, end quote, just at the top. I know that, as you said, we're at the mercy of them, but if you could put, quote, forthwith, end quote, at the top of the release order. Judge Shirley replies, that order doesn't go to them. That order is for you. They will be orally instructed to process you out. Mr. Sanchez, if you will ask them to process her forthwith. Yes, Your Honor, says the U.S. Marshal. That the court asks for that, okay? Says Judge Shirley. Heather says, thank you. Judge Shirley says, that's the best I can do. Heather says, thank you, Your Honor. Uh-huh, replies Judge Shirley. Mr. Lloyd? Your Honor, may I address a housekeeping issue? Well, it depends. How housekeeping is it? Very much so, I believe. I'm sure the defendant moves that the parties be allowed to retain the pretrial services report given to the parties earlier during this hearing or just before it. What about that probation? asked the judge. Mr. Miller, start with you. The probation officer says, That would be your decision, Your Honor, since the pretrial report is property of the court. Okay, do you want to keep it yours, Miss Davidson? Miss Davidson says, Yes, Your Honor. Wow! Wow, I'm not quite sure. Let, let's read a little further. This doesn't sound kosher at all, guys. Uh, <laughs> Ms. 
Mr. Lloyd is saying, I'm sure the defendant or Heather moves that the parties be allowed to retain the pretrial services report given to the parties earlier during this hearing or just before it. Mr. Miller says that would be your decision, Your Honor. Uh huh. The pretrial report is property of the court. Miss Davidson says she wants to keep it. Judge says, All right, that will be fine, Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Lloyd says, Thank you, Your Honor. Heather says, thank you. Judge says, the pretrial services report for your edification, Miss Tucci Giraffe, is the court's, so it is not for public dissemination. It's a privilege sometimes that I give lawyers the right to retain it, but I don't expect it to ever be publicized. It's my report that probation prepares for me. I share with the lawyers so we are all operating off the same song sheet, so to speak, and that everybody has the same information and that everybody can have their due process, okay? Heather says, I'll accept that and honor that and won't, okay, I'll accept that and honor that and won't publish it, says Heather. Court says, all right, so you've signed your name and you've added all this stuff again. <laughs> oh, Judge Shirley is having, having some interesting times with other. All right, so you've signed your name and you've added all this stuff again. Quote, with full responsibility and liability, end quote. What does that, how is that? different than just signing your name. What does that change? Heather says, just an express. That's the signature I use so that if there's anything, the without prejudice, because there's three there, with responsibility, liability, and without prejudice, meaning if there's something that's not in that contract, that is applicable but hasn't been told to me, so a disclosure of material fact, then it's, then it can't prejudice me. However, everything that you've stated in there, I'm fully responsible and liable for agreeing to those terms. Judge says, well, I don't really know what that means, but I can't assure you that any of that will have any legal significance because you just stuck it in there. Yeah, all right, so... What Heather did is put a whole bunch of verbiage with her signature. The judge didn't read the full quote out. He just said with full responsibility and liability. And she says with responsibility. I'm glad she had the uh, idea to say it all out. With responsibility, liability, and without prejudice. And these are the words right here that are mentioned in the Uniform Commercial Code, Section 1-308. That's the newer section. It replaced an older Section 1-207. And this is the section that talks about how you... Uh, how you claim your rights. And this is what she's explaining to Judge Shirley, and Judge Shirley's playing stupid. He's saying, well, I really don't know what that means. Well, you know what, Judge Shirley? You can go find the Uniform Commercial Code and look up sections 1-308, and you can find out what without prejudice means. You've admitted here that you really don't know what that means. And there is law books that explain what that means. And it would be very 
hmm, incumbent upon you to brush up on that aspect before you proceed any further. Heather says, it's okay. Judge says, I just wanted you to know that. <clears throat> Heather says, I accept that. It's your position. All right. I will, though, approve with my signature only your release. <laughs> you know, there he's got to stick it to her again. That, that, <clears throat> this last bit <clears throat> is just Judge Shirley throwing his weight around. This is narcissistic energy right here. All right, I will, though, approve with my signature only your release. Like, he's not going to put all that other stuff in there. This is disdainful. Now, let's try to go quickly because it's late. I have a full afternoon docket. Oh, well, poo-poo on you. Mr. Lloyd, when you were ostensibly representing her, or possibly representing her, you filed a number of motions. The first was a motion for leave to have a court reporter and a videographer. We have provided a court reporter here today. So, the ju so what Judge Shirley is saying is the courts have provided a court reporter here today. Videographer would be denied. As I mentioned to the crowd earlier, no video allowed in the courtroom. Do you have anything further on that motion? No, Your Honor. Second motion was a motion to correct the minutes. You said that at this hearing, the defendant stated hers was a special appearance and that she was presenting as self. I have no idea what that means. That's legalese or mumbo jumbo that means nothing. She either was here as Heather Antucci Giraffe or she's not. What's that mean? So we're getting in this we're getting into the meat of it here, guys. Mr. Lloyd says, Your Honor, the defendant has adopted the motions I necessarily filed, and then he gets cut off by the judge saying yes. Mr. Lloyd continues, because I alone had access, judge says, okay. Mr. Lloyd continues, Sunday to the court's filing system. I will, with the court's leave, allow the defendant to speak to that. Judge says, all right. What's wrong with the minutes as they, as they appear? The minutes say the parties appeared for the initial appearance and arraignment. Do you agree with that? Heather replies, it was as far as, no, I do not. The actual record when he put in the minutes of the record, he stated that I, that it was noted exactly as I said, that I had said that I was there by special appearance. Judge says, you're not here by special appearance. Heather says, no, but at the time he said that, it was being noted, and those are the exact words. So, judge interrupts her, says, well, he may have noted it, but... Heather continues, it's just a correction to the minutes. Judge says, well, the minutes aren't a transcript. It says that you were present for an initial appearance and arraignment. Did you do an initial appearance and arraignment on that date? Heather says, no, I did an initial appearance. However, we reserved, we made a reserve, reservation to enter a plea of guilty or not guilty after, after the jurisdiction matter had been resolved. Judge says, so I saw that you put that in there, and I checked with every person that was present, and they all said that you entered a plea of not guilty and reserved the right to contest jurisdiction. Miss Davidson says, yes, Your Honor, that's exactly what happened. And I was, or said, I was here, and judge cuts her off. That's what the judge said. That's what the law clerk said. That's what the, and then Heather cuts him off. If that's the case, I'm going to go by the audio record on that because I'd been up for 48 hours and transferred from Georgia to here and then put into a courtroom. So judge says, all right, so for, and Heather says, it's quite possible. Judge says, for purposes of clarification, which plea do you enter, guilty or not guilty? Heather says, not guilty. All right. 
so we'll make sure your plea is noted at least as of today. Thank you, says Heather. It says you do not want appointed counsel at that time and wish to represent yourself. Is that true? We covered that today already. Heather says, well, yeah, I think we've covered that today. Judge says, okay, let's see. Your other complaint was you reserved whether to accept appointed counsel. That's, that's what you said at the, at the, excuse me, that's what you said at the hearing, right? That was at that time, yes. All right, we resolved the guilty plea issue, okay? Thank you. So with regard to that motion, I'll basically deny it based on what we've covered here today. The minutes speak for themselves. The next motion, f or the next is a motion for a continuance and extension of deadlines, Miss Giraffe. Miss Tucci Giraffe, I apologize. In this case, it says that you first appeared here on August 24th and the trial is set in just over 30 days, October 3rd. Obviously, that's too quick for a trial and you have every right to ask for a continuance. The motion, this motion does that. This motion also asks to extend the pretrial deadlines. For example, how much time you have to do a motion and... Because actually the motion deadline has technically run but we're going to give you some more time, don't worry, and to prepare adequately for trial. Is that correct? Heather says, yes. Does that also include the discovery because judge cuts her off? Yes. Okay, says Heather. So for discovery and all that, yes, I need some more time, Your Honor. Correct. All right. So let's talk about scheduling. Now with regard to discovery, when can you get that over to Miss Giraffe? Tucci Giraffe. Miss Davidson replies, Your Honor, seven days from this hearing. Judge says, All right, and why don't we do this? Why don't you be the liaison, Mr. Lloyd, so it's easy, so that there's no contact between Miss Davidson and Miss Tucci Giraffe. She'll get the discovery to you. You get it promptly to Miss Tucci Giraffe, okay? I will do, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Let's look at a new trial date. What are we looking at, Rachel? The courtroom deputy says, How far out did you want to go? Judge says, What are you thinking, Miss Tucci Giraffe? How much time do you think you're going to need to get ready? Heather says, If I might just look at a calendar real quick. Sure, says Judge. Heather says, Okay, Your Honor, with that... To give us enough time to try this matter properly and reasonably, I would ask that the court look for dates the 4th of December or after. Judge says, all right, any objection to that time, period? Ms. David says, says, not to that. Your Honor, my fall calendar is very full. I have a trial starting on November 28th that is expected to go. That should go about four days. I think the earliest date that would fit in my calendar would be December 12th or in the month of January. All right, says the judge. Let's see if we got something the week of December 11th. Courtroom deputy says the 12th does appear to be open. Heather says December 12th, your honor. Or actually the judge says December 12th is available. Is that okay? December 12th, your honor. Yes, ma'am. Yes, says Heather. <clears throat> All right, December 12th is the trial date. The only problem that presents is if the motion on jurisdiction is a motion to dismiss the indictment for lack of jurisdiction, we're going to need basically 90 days. Up to 90 days from the hearing on that, and the reason is that this court can't rule definitively on that issue. In other words, I issue a ruling, but if you don't like it, or if the government doesn't like it, both of you get a chance to object to the district judge who will ultimately try the case. This is what we were talking about before, about the different duties between the district judge, which is Thomas A. Varlin, and C. Clifford Shirley Jr., who is this judge, the magistrate judge. Miss Davidson 
speaks up. Your Honor, I would suggest a January date just because of this court's calendar. I mean, she's already notified us that she plans on filing a dispositive motion, and it would be better for the United States calendar for it to be a January date. Judge says, well, my point is, I don't want to give you too short of a time to file that motion. Right, right, says Heather. So if I give you enough time and then we set a hearing, then you'll need that additional time for me to rule. Okay, says Heather. Then if you like my ruling, the judge continues, they probably won't. And if they like my, my ruling, you probably won't. So invariably, when I rule on a dispositive motion, somebody objects to it. Doesn't matter what it is, because somebody doesn't like the fact that they lost, and then the district judge will ultimately rule on that. So I'm thinking, let's do it this way. How much time do you think it will take you to get that motion filed? Can you get it filed in the... Go ahead. I would state that it would take... Well, I wanted to be able to see what the prosecutor has. She said seven days from today, she would be able to get that to me. Court says, right. Heather says, I would like to, I can start preparing the motion, obviously this week. So I would say at least two weeks to be able to file that motion over to, with the court, and to get it over to, because I still have to accommodate, get my accommodations. So this takes us through the end of page 79. And next time we're going to start up on page 80 here. Well, thank you so much for all of the love, light, and links. Uh, if you have anything for me, send it to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. And we'll be back for part seven, which will finish us out on this 89-page document. Have a great start to your week, family, as some of you are probably waking up right about now and getting ready to head into start your work week if you're out on the East Coast. So have a safe, sane, and peaceful week. I love you guys. Bye-bye.